Hey guys, this is Evan with Evan Does Tech, and today we're going to be completing the next video in our series about creating a Premiere Pro template for YouTube. And today we're going to try to make it a little shorter and hopefully cover lower thirds and text boxes. Alright, let's roll the intro. Okay, so, you can see here, first of all, we need to do a little bit of tidying up, because this is, um, not our main sequence, I don't believe. Yeah. So, what I kind of want to do, well, first of all, I don't know why all of these are out of their folder. They shouldn't be. So we're going to put them in the outro folder. And then, um, this is our outro sequence. As you can see right here. But I don't even think we have a regular sequence. So let's create one. A sequence called main sequence. There we go. And then we can just drag our outro sequence onto our main sequence so we don't have to deal with all those little details and that'll all be right there so cool um i think that's all the tidying up we need to do let's just go ahead and start our well first of all we're going to need two different lower thirds we're going to need one for a person and one for like a product or whatever. So, lower third. You know what? We can just um, create this bin and put two bins inside of it. Person and another one called title. That bin didn't need to be there. All right, let's start with uh, title. All right, so I'm now realizing that I just lost a bunch of footage. So what I'm gonna have to do is just um, get this to where you saw it last, which is when I was creating this title. All right, here we go. So I'm just going to call this text. Um, hold on, this is animated too, so I'm gonna take it out, put it back, crop it again. Sorry about this, guys. It was me forgetting to press a record button. Okay. Bring this back up. <coughs> and just put in product service And that looks pretty good, the sizing. Could actually make it a little bit bigger. Not that much bigger. There we go. There we go, we want to leave some space too. Alright. That looks pretty good. Just go ahead and uh, put that there. And now we need to animate this. So basically, 
just goes off screen and then it goes a little too far and very quickly in its proper position like that and then can't copy those keyframes because I'm hated by Premiere. There we go. So I'm just going to do all of these to make it fit like it should. I'll go back to this. There we go. Looks great. And then at the end here, just needs to go, or no, wait, hold up, thought, and you need to add the same keyframe, make it go a little too far again, and then off screen. I like that timing. Okay, so just add the keyframe. It's gonna go a little too far right with this. And. Oops. Oh, at the very end, it just goes back. off screen there we go all right there is our title lower third and now we are going to yeah there's our person lower third delete all this sorry that's just from Oops. Earlier when I wasn't recording. So here I'm going to type. Oh, no, I don't need to create a bin. I need to create a sequence called person lower third. And then in here, we're going to make our color mat again. It's going to be that blue. Okay, blue. Drag blue in. Doesn't need to be too long. There we go. Uh, it can come off about there. There we go. Looking nice. All right. So just create our title here. Call it text again. Oh, wait. I'm going to crop this first. So just drag the crop on. <clears throat> and crop the left. Top. Bottom. I'm going to leave a little more space on this one. And right. And let's create our text. Just have it here say Evan, Evan does tech and Evan does tech can be a little smaller. Evan can be a little bigger. Oops, 
what just happened. And looking good. Now I'm just going to drag this on here and animate it. But I will spare you that. Um, it's basically the same thing as last time. I'm going to actually do that in a second. First, we're going to set up our text box so that um, I can do all the animation at the same time. Color mat. Same one. Blue. Drag that on here. The cropping is going to be different this time. And this needs to be much longer so that people can actually read it. Cool. And if we click on it, we can crop it. Cropping is going to be a little bit different. There we go. <clears throat> Create some text. Um, title and then few different bullet points. Make these a little smaller. This a little bigger. And maybe one more. And now we can just position that. And now Oopsies. Now I will animate all of this. So I will see you when I am done. Actually, you're going to watch a time lapse. That's right. Okay. Bye. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse. So let's just watch the finished result. There's our person lower third. Goes for a little while. And then it'll come off. And then we can also go to our text box. And here it is. I'll go for a little while. You can read all the stats and stuff. Blah, blah, blah. And it goes out. Cool. So, we have all of our title type things done. And we're looking pretty good. So, all we have left for next time is our um, YouTube card animation, which, just to give me another preview, I really want to tease you guys on this one. I can uh, open my template. And 
There's another teaser for this one. It won't be that shaky. Kind of get an idea of it though. Yeah, I'll put one. I put one earlier. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, remember to check out the previous video right there. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. And I will see you next week in the next video.